not very happy, not pleased. Uh, really disappointed, Dis disappointed with our effort the last two days. I talked about it last night uh, when I got done. Uh, after practice, I thought we'd respond, come back today. Just not good enough. We didn't execute good enough. We, did, we weren't sharp enough on either side of the ball. Um, I didn't feel like we had a great sense of urgency on either side of the ball. Um, very little communication, very little energy, not a good scrimmage. Took a step back, I got to reevaluate what we're doing. It was going to be the last big scrimmage, but we may have to look at it and do it again because that, that wasn't good enough. You surprised, Mark, this late in summer? Yeah. With yeah. all that's on the line? I am. What do you attribute it to? Anything? You know? yeah, if I had those answers, we'd, we'd be winning a whole bunch of football games. Is there one thing you're especially upset about? Just the whole thing. I, I, yeah, it was the, the one thing that stood out to me was just the overall uh, uh, sense of urgency. Is there anything good today? Kickers kick good. <laughs> <laughs> Get Coach, Coach Spurrier will be talking about that again this year about how good our punter does, because we ain't going to get a lot of first downs if we play like that. Well, it's the kind of thing where you're especially disappointed in your veterans. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, exactly what I told you, that, that, that we I thought we moved so far beyond that to let our leadership come out here in the stadium and play like that and not get it rectified. So, uh, yeah, I am disappointed. Anything else? What, what will be sort of the focus for you when you get back with these guys? What did you say to them when, when it was over today? Uh, I'm going to keep that between me and, and the team, um, but I'm going to get them here again. They got, uh, we're going to go watch the tape as a staff, and we'll bring them back tonight, and we'll watch it again. And, and uh, unfortunately, I think we got something going on in the stadium tonight, or I'd like to come back out and do it again. Boom said he had the green light for his, with the scrimmage today. Did he, did he actually get out there? He did. He played some. Run around. You feel like you got to put the feet back down on the ground. Some think you're feeling too good about themselves. Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, we stay on them all the time. What would what, what would they have to feel good about themselves? You know, you know what I mean. That's that's my point. But yeah, maybe they do. Maybe they do. We certainly lean on them, and uh, I don't know. I guess I guess uh, you know. I don't want to say. Mm. How does this complicate your efforts to put your depth chart together at this point? Well, it does. It, it, it complicates things. And, uh, you know, I'll, I know this. When we release our depth chart, it's going to be a bunch of guys that have an attitude and they're going to go out there and compete. And we'll find 11 on either side of the ball. Injuries, illnesses still a problem? We, we were down some guys, but there's no excuse. It's got to be the next man up. And uh, we didn't really have that mentality today, you know, with, with guys stepping up and, and guys competing. It just wasn't a, wasn't a, a tough enough mindset. It wasn't a tough enough attitude. And that's the bottom line. Because that can, you know, you can overcome a lot of things if you come out here with a strong mind, a strong attitude, and fly around and play with great energy. And, and we didn't have that today. How did your quarterbacks perform? Okay, just okay. Was it a not a situation where it's you're looking at that position as? as I, I'm, I'm not. In particular, I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I don't. Know. I'm not worried about that. I mean, I'm worried about all positions. Why, you know, quarterback? Yeah, that's one of them. Thanks, guys. Thanks, okay. Thank you.